Çanakkale içinde aynalı çarşı The Parade of History, Çanakkale The Lock of Hope and the Key of Peace, Çanakkale Where exceptions are transformed into treasures When you come to the furthermost reaches of the Aegean Sea, the straits stretch out before you. The monument to the heroic fallen is illuminated in the rays of the sun, and with its finely decorated mansions and ends festooned with purple wisteria, before you appears Chanakale. The dwelling place of many different peoples throughout the centuries. The stories of people who dwelt peacefully together under these same skies are woven into dances and joyful melodies. If you have visited this place before, you will already be familiar with the stories which are an integral part of the region. If, however, this is your first trip here, be prepared to peer through the door into a legendary world. The history of the Straits and the province stretches back to antiquity. Hellespontos, the city of seafarers, Dardanelle, the city of civilization, and Chanakale, the city of heroes. The Straits and shores of Chanakale have been the backdrop for human settlement for thousands of years. And the most splendid of these was the city of Troy. The historical fabric of this region is a synthesis of diverse cultures. For thousands of years, the inhabitants have been weaving a tapestry with threads of marvelous colors. Draw closer and hear these colors talking to us. See those who wear the brightest reds, blues, and greens, whose own life stories are intertwined with the quirks of fate. The Romani residents of the Fevzi Pasha district, whose ancestors worked on the construction of the Cheminlik castle, the holder of the key to the straits and the honorable bearer of our history, and who still inhabit the area around the castle. The Straits of Chanakale, a pathway to reach many wealthy trade routes, have witnessed a great number of conflicts. Control of the Straits is symbolic of sharp intelligence and invincible power. From the time of Troy to the present day, this ground tells the tale of heroes. So what secrets are hidden in this province? Culturally diverse, geographically significant, commercially based. Yes, the region is all of these. But what makes it incomparable is that it was the stage for the birth of a nation. Those who lie here, the events which took place here, and the stories which are told about this place Here we can see our, here we can see your, here we can see everybody's past.
History was written here at Gallipoli, a history of which every Turk is a part, and all who step on this soil are filled with thoughts of patriotism. This city, this history, is the work of those heroes who shared a common dream. On this hilltop we are greeted by the whistle of the wind. If we stop for a while and listen, we can hear that the wind sings a song of heroism between the two seas. Çanakkale içinde bir uzun serbi Çanakkale içinde bir uzun serbi Kimimiz nişanlı This song is inspired by all those who gave their lives here and gained strength from the many soldiers who vowed to make that dream come true. Cities are important. They are the keepers of the collective memory. Chanakale guards, watches over the memory of a nation. It describes the struggle for independence and the creation of the Republic. It is in this knowledge that we draw breath in this city. Due to its exceptional location, Chanakale is of great strategic significance and possesses a rich historical and cultural heritage. It is known for the ancient cities, memorials, and architectural treasures which surround it. The traditional small town structure of Chanakkale began to change in the 1970s and it is rapidly being transformed into a modern city. An influx of migrants to the city and the establishment of the university had brought about a transformation in the town's fabric and an increase in housing. The torch which has been lit by the university will illuminate the future of the city. With their natural beauty, handicrafts, and other produce, the smaller towns of the province, as well as the city, are part of the treasure. Let these towns and their treasures speak for themselves. There is no other place so well suited as Assos for escaping from the pressure of life and enjoying its pleasures. The beauty of Assos is magnified by the sun setting over Beramkale. This is a place where well-being is cultivated.
If you wish, we can continue to enjoy ourselves with the delicious wines of the islands. As Herodotus said, God created the island of Bozja'ada so that people may live a long life. Organic farming is on the increase, especially on the islands. Chanakale is aware of the geographical diversity it possesses and aims to bequeath a livable world and region to future generations by supporting clean energy and organic farming. Mount Ida, with its incomparable ecological diversity and a rich source of mythological tales, Bairamic, with its colorful embroidery and delicious helva that you can't get enough of. Yenije, and the chance to enjoy unspoiled natural beauty. Biga, representing the changing face of Chanakale with its expanding industry. Chan, the town famous for ceramics and which also provided the province with its name. Ejeabat, which is honored to guard the monuments to the heroic fallen. All are part of the colorful design of this rich tapestry. Chanakale is an important region, which is a fountain of history, possesses a rich cultural heritage, and is strategically exceptionally well placed. As Turkey becomes more socially conscious, people increasingly appreciate the significance of Chanakale and the treasures it possesses. Chanakale, transporting us from the past to the present and from the present to the future. We, the Turks, are the children of a generation which transformed an impossibility into a reality. We take our soul from here and our consciousness from our belief in the future. Chanakale marches towards tomorrow with this faith. Each city possesses a secret and a promise for tomorrow. Stop and listen to Chanakale's promise. Halt, traveler. This soil on which you tread unthinkingly is where an epoch ended. Bend your ear to this mound of earth, where the heart of a nation is beating. <laughs>